Hey, you guys, um, welcome to day two after spring break. Um, it was great to see everybody yesterday on our Zoom call. So we're going to look at what today's work is. Um, it's Wednesday, so it's art day. And your art page is listed up here on the side. Here's going to be your link to all of your specials. Hopefully yesterday you worked on your Spanish. If not, you can go back to that today. So today's art, um, go on through there. For language art, you have a um, language arts activity today. You're going to click on this link and there's going to be a page that comes up that's about, um, it's called a sentence surgeon game. And what that means is that there are a lot of errors written down and you have the task of finding the errors and correcting them. There'll be two pages that show up. You'll retype the passage on the blank one with the corrections in there. It'll show you afterwards how well you did. Um, try to remember that, that number or post it on your reading page. Then there's a reading comprehension activity. It's about the age of exploration. It goes along with our social studies. And so what you're going to do is read that passage, read it carefully, take your time doing it, and then answer the comprehension questions and do your very best. After that, you're going to go to social studies. You're going to click back on to the American history page. It's going to um, be listed over here. And then what you're going to do, I'll even add a hyperlink for you. Um, what you're going to do on that American history page is go back to the explorers. Yesterday, you had a chance to choose one explorer or more if you'd like to learn more about them. I told you yesterday, Henry Hudson has a fascinating story. You're going to learn about the explorers and then you're going to go to your own learning page and you're going to fill out in the American history section uh, something about that explorer. Put down your words, make sure that you have the who, the what, the where, the when, and the why, and maybe how of that explorer. And then include pictures. This is your chance for you to work creatively. You, it's up to you how you design it. You can use any of the features of Google Sites. Make sure you publish it when you're finished. Then um, you're going to go to that Brainsy site. There's a hyperlink there for math. There are several assignments assigned in there. And as Emily brought up yesterday, not only are there several assignments, but the assignments themselves have more than one component to them. So like it's sort of like if you open a book and there's multiple pages in there, dive deep into those. That's all you're going to have to do for math for today is go to that Brainsy site. Most of those activities are games anyway, but it's going to help you with your, your math skills. Tomorrow we're going to review prime numbers and composite numbers and do some activities with that. After that, I want you to work on your reading. Read for about 40 minutes and then log it on your reading page. At the bottom here, it says, Everyone has a Google site and needs to be sure to work on the seed page. Tell me something about your seeds. Make sure you have the entry about the seed vault included in there. And then you have an American history page that should have a Native American tribe and it should have um, an, an explorer. Those both should be added into that page um, along there. And then decorate it, design it, find pictures, whatever it is that you can do, this is your chance to be creative in your own way. All right, so that's it for April 15th. Down below here, we're going to have a Zoom on April 16th, and that's already posted there. All right, I hope you have a really good day. It was great seeing you guys today. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay with this. This is really kind of crazy. It's just a strange way to be going to school. And I'm sure some of you, it's hard for you to be in the house or around your house a lot. I'm glad to see that Bella Vicar got such a cute little puppy. You got a cute puppy and we got a um, German student. So I think I might rather have a puppy. He probably would rather have a puppy too. Hmm. All right, you guys have a great day. I don't have anything interesting today. Yep, nothing. Oh, I moved a chair in here. Do you see that? All right. Bye.